Where are you going? Are you gonna go cry in a closet? Stay out of my closet. Cr uh, oh no, he's gonna go. What? What did she just do? Did she just steal something? She just stole Tommy's stuff. What's up guys and welcome back to the life of Kevin. Now as I'm sure you guys know, Tommy has become quite the ladies man. He's got the woohoo club, he's got lots of girlfriends, women just can't seem to be able to resist his charms, except for one. I'm just now realizing that this is a picture of a male clown, but our tragic clown is female, right? We invited her over and Tommy tried to cheer her up, it didn't work, tried to grease the wheels and it didn't work, so I figured with all of these clown sightings on the rise, whoa, whoa, do you see that? Clown sightings are on the rise. And with Halloween around the corner, I thought what better time to bring back the tragic clown and see if we can make something happen. We'll try to cheer her up, we'll try to go out on a date, and we can try to do some of the Day of the Dead stuff. I don't really know what this is though. I think you try to collect skulls. That's a good date activity with a crazy sad clown, right? Who are you? How you doing? Good luck. And what the hell? Oh, it's Leia. Day of the Dead Celebrator. What is going on? I haven't played the game at all since this started. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Hold your horses. Can we can we talk to you or something? Ask for Sugar Skull. Okay, we can do that. Is it bad that she still looks really hot with the face paint and the outfit? If anything, you know, a little it's, it's kind of doing something for for Tommy, not for me. So, can I have your skull? Is that is that a thing? Yes. Okay. That that worked. Emma just discovered a fire nearby. Okay, that's just great. I'm trying to summon an evil clown and you guys are lighting each other on fire. It's been a while since we had a fire. Maybe we should probably put out Evie. You know what? I think that might be a good idea. Emma, you're looking great. Don't get me wrong. But uh, there you go. That's the ticket. Not gonna let your daughter-in-law burn to death. We good? Uh, we still we still have fire. <laughs> Guys, I'm trying to hit it off with a creepy clown. Can you just not burn the house down for one second? You're gonna scare her away. Okay, you know what? This isn't my problem right now. You guys can sort it out. I got stuff to do this episode. So Tommy, what do you think about this? Can we view the tragic clown painting and get whatever creepy thing it says? Right? I think you summon her or something. Anything you summon isn't good, right? You don't summon good things. You don't summon the Easter Bunny or the Tooth Fairy or Santa Claus. You summon <laughs> demons and, and you cry over them. So, anything? Tragic clown. Was she taking the day off or something? What, what just, it didn't work. Okay, try that again. Can you take a day off as a tragic clown? Like, is it a job? I thought it was more like what you are. Like, the like Santa Claus doesn't take a day off. He is Santa Claus. So, we're just gonna, oh, we're just gonna keep crying and watching. Oh, there she is. It worked. Aha. Uh, yeah, this painting fills Tom with such profound grief. Legend says that if you look hard enough, the grief will spill off the canvas and uh. into the room. Nothing good spills out of things. Th that's just terrifying. Okay, but either way, she's here now. She she looks different, doesn't she? I remember her being a little bit more portly, right? She, she's actually kind of, I mean, she's almost hot. That is really weird. I did not expect that. But either way, we're going to ask her about her career. What do you got to say about that? What are you? Are you a clown? Tom has learned that Daisy Bozo works for Tragic Clown at Sunny Clowns Incorporated. So it is a job. And we have mail. What? What? what what's my mail? Oh, it's Bill's. Yay. She's even making Tommy sad. He's got the aura now. Such tragedy. And I think that that's because of the clothes that she's wearing, right? We can try to cheer her up, but I get the feeling that that isn't even possible. Right, Tommy has... Let me see here. Tommy's good, so he should... Oh, he can't cheer her up when he's... He's very sad. Okay, like I said, I'm like 99% sure that the reason she is always sad is because of the clothes that she's wearing. Like you would be. If you're wearing dirty, soiled clown outfit, then it's gonna be pretty hard to cheer up, so... I'm pretty sure we can either ask her to change clothes or we can just use our mind control ray and get her to change outfit that way. 
feel like that's just the easier thing to do. All right, Daisy, we're just gonna get you out of those dirty, depressing clothes and everybody's gonna be happier and it's just gonna be for the best, okay? I know that it's a little bit creepy that I just shot you with something and that Tommy is gonna laugh like a lunatic, but... What? What the hell just happened? Did we just transform her into a different person or something? Like, she's angry now. It's still Daisy Bozo. She's still the tragic clown, but now she's mad about something. What is what is she upset about? What, what does it say up here? Just an ordinary, polite conversation. Yeah, no big deal. We just made a, a terrifying clown into a sexy woman. I'm so confused right now. Hold on. If we if we ask, let me see. Uh, friendly, ask to see outfit every day. Let's let's try that. Uh, Daisy, can I see what you would normally be wearing again? I know I just shot you with a mind control ray. That that might be why she's angry. Come to think of it, a little bit rude. I can kind of agree with that. Did she just say no? I think I think she just said no. How about we just buy? Oh no! What? What just happened to her face? It is her. What? That is. I am just blown away. That is so weird. Okay, Tommy. She's she's hot. She's sad. She's she's gone back to being sad and a little bit flirty. But I think we can actually make this work now, right? Yeah. There she goes. Very sad. Oh my god, she's so bipolar. She just went from very sad to angry to flirty to very sad in the span of like five minutes. And now, where is, where is she going? Where are you going? Are you gonna go cry in a closet? Stay out of my closet. Uh, oh no, he's gonna go. What, what did she just do? Did she just steal something? She just stole Tommy's stuff. Did you see that? She's a kleptomaniac. She just stole the pile of stuff that was there, and now she's gonna go hide in the closet. Clowns aren't allowed in my closet. That's really, really scary. What is going on right now? She absolutely just stole that, right? I, I saw she did the, the swipe thing. I thought she picked up like a dirty glass or something like that, but then this disappeared. Okay, uh, Tommy. We kind of, yeah, we need to console Daisy Bozo, and we need to keep an eye on her because she's stealing her stuff. She's a weird person, I'm not going to lie, but I kind of like it. I think it's going to be good. So maybe we could try to do some more of the Sugar Skull stuff, whatever that is, and see if we can kind of hit it off a little bit. And, like, she must live somewhere, right? Clowns aren't homeless, usually. Maybe we can go back to her place and see if we can grease the gears. Hey, you. Oh, okay. Just gonna go steal my computer. That's cool. All right, let's try to, um, can we actions add to group? There we go. Now we're in a group so we can go places together and I can kind of control her just a little bit. So she won't just run around stealing all my stuff. Okay, good, good, good. And you guys told me that not only can I get sugar skulls from people, well, you guys didn't actually tell me that. I didn't realize that until just now. But people were saying stuff about um, tombstones last episode. Apparently, I can leave Sugar Skull offering. I don't know what that does, but we will find out. I'm going to leave one to my dad, and I'm going to leave one to Justin Bieber. Because that makes a whole lot of sense. Uh-huh. Okay, she's just going to pump out some push-ups over there. I guess she's got to have a, a fit clown body somehow. Oh, no, that's uh, Patrick Flaherty. <laughs> Come the fuck on. <laughs> I don't remember doing that. <laughs> oh, that's right. I couldn't get him to come out. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, we left, we left offerings at both of these things. So I guess we can come back later and get sugar skulls. I don't know. Where, where'd the clown go? Where'd the clown go? We need to keep an eye on the clown. She's stealing stuff. No, she's gonna go cry and watch a movie. This is weird. Well, we can't get flirty with her if she's wearing those clothes because again, she's always gonna be crying, always gonna be sad. So let's see if we can get her into something a little bit more concealing. Sleepwear might have been pushing it a little bit. So we'll try for party wear. What do you got on his party wear? Something a little bit more reasonable, hopefully. Maybe we can go out on a date, you never know. Yeah? What do you say? There, there you go, Tommy. Stop laughing. Holy crap. 
That worked really well. Do you want to take a look at my Pokemon collection? That's how you get all the girls, okay? Trust me. What are you doing, Tommy? Tom has learned that Daisy is single. Okay. There is no Mr. Bozo. That's good to know. I don't know what it is about her. Like, I guess technically she's okay, right? I still get this weird, like, evil feeling to her, but like I said... She, she's good looking, and uh, it, it seems to be working. We're actually managing to flirt with the tragic clown. I tried this before. I could never get it to work. I'm actually excited about that. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, it goes off the rails very easily. Okay, that, that something happened. Tommy, after a lot of conversational jumping through hoops, we have managed to build some kind of relationship here. We asked her out on a date. She said yes. We came to this little sketchy bar, and I think it's Bear Night, which is a little awkward. Can safely say I never thought I would be dating a haunting clown with a bunch of bears, but The Sims. I'm kind of afraid to go in, but at the very least, things are going well out here, right? I, th I think so, right? Yeah, Tommy's getting up there. Actually, we could probably ask her to be his girlfriend. Ask to be girlfriend? I don't even think we've kissed her yet, but that's cool. Holy crap, Tommy, you have another girlfriend, and it's the, the tragic clown. We don't even need to call her. We just need to look at a picture of her, and she'll crawl out of it. That's so terrifying. Um, I honestly wasn't even sure this was going to work. First kiss. There we go. You know what? Let's just make it official. You're, you're actually going to kiss a clown, Tommy. Okay, I'm not going to lie. She's a hot clown, so it's okay. There we go. Okay, so now that we're boyfriend and girlfriend, and uh, you're not going to leave me for one of the bears, let's go get a drink. There are so many bears here. Do I even know any of these people? I don't. I think they're actually bears. They're not like the like Tony Stark in disguise. Uh, Tom has learned the following trait about Daisy. She's evil. I knew it. That's not a good thing, right? There's also no bartender, which uh, isn't great. You could say that this bar is uh, a little bit bare. <laughs> Tom has learned that she's also insane. Okay, so she's an insane, evil kleptomaniac. But I mean, we're gonna hit her with the duck joke. And she's got a nice rack, so... I honestly don't know what is more off-putting. All that we've learned are the fact that these bears are <laughs> just right up in our business. Go do whatever you guys do. I don't know what they do. What are they- what are they doing? Oh, there's a- there's a downstairs? What? Oh my god, they have like a bear clubhouse! What is this? Is, is this a club? Oh, it's- it's locked. I need to be a bear to get in here, I think. This is amazing! Why does this exist? Oh my god, I really want to get a bear costume and come back here someday. It's like this weird bear cult. I don't really want to take her back to my house. Like I said, evil kleptomaniac clown. She's already stolen some of my stuff. Maybe we can go home with her? She seems to be into it. What do you say? Do you want me to come back to your place? You know, we might be able to uh, get together. I'm, I'm going to take that as a yes. Oh, okay. That's not even controlled by me. So we made it back to her place. And let's be honest, I think Tommy's gonna be doing pretty well. When a crazy clown invites you home after a night at the bar, usually you're gonna get a little clown tail, I think, right? I still have to knock to come in. Daisy, hello. There she is, so we can, no, we can't woohoo uh, there. You got a bed? You got a bunch of single beds. That is just terrifying. Well. Where the hell are we gonna woohoo then? What's the point? I guess I could always just directly ask her, right? So if I go, let me see here. Um, romance, more options, woohoo. Oh, there's a bush. Okay, now we're, we're just gonna try a woohoo. Oh, I don't know if this is gonna work because she's crying again. She's got the clown outfit on, right? So, so do you wanna bang with the clown outfit on? That's a yes. Okay. Um, where are you guys gonna go exactly? I'm really confused right now. There's no, there's no bed over here. Oh, there's a downstairs. Holy crap, Tommy. She does not screw around. Did she have this completely planned out or what? She, yeah, she's playing for keeps. Okay, uh, Daisy, I'm gonna try not to call you clowny. What do you... 
Oh yeah. I just wanted to make a wholesome Halloween episode, right? I didn't want things to get so kinky with the clown. Oh, we were gone behind door number two. I hear kinky things though. What's behind door number two? Hell, like a little apartment. Oh no. Tommy, this, no, Tommy. What did you just get yourself into? Did you just get kidnapped by a clown? Do you hear her? Oh, no, 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 no. Tommy got kidnapped by a creepy sex clown. Let me guess, if I tell you to leave, yeah, you don't know, you can't get out, the door is locked because you're an idiot. This is what happens. This is what happens when you try to get kinky with an evil clown, okay? And now... Now we need to sort this out. How the hell do you sort something like this out? Kevin can't just come busting through here. Man, she went heavy duty with the bars. Um, yeah, Tommy, call your father. Yeah, this should be interesting. Hey, Dad. Yeah, um, I kind of need Llama Man's help, maybe? Or the National Guard, or Mom? She's a policewoman. Mom wouldn't really understand. I get the feeling Mom isn't too happy with my promiscuous ways, but... Yeah, I'm kind of in the crazy sex dungeon of a haunting clown. Yeah, yeah, you heard that right. Anything? Okay, yeah. Kev Kevin's got it covered. Don't worry about it, Tommy. You just hold tight. We'll get to the bottom of this. I'm not gonna lie, Tommy is pretty lucky that he has an understanding superhero dad because Kevin has been impregnated by aliens, he's been a superhero, he's been dead. He's had everything possible thrown at him, so when, you know, your son calls and he says that he's been abducted by a crazy sex clown, then it, he'll believe it. You know, he's gonna come to the rescue, he's gonna figure this out. So we got Llama Man on the case. I think, like I said, we're gonna leave Llama Woman out of this. Probably best that Mom doesn't know. So, Kevin, what's your plan? So we can't really just go there and kill her because one, that's not a very nice thing to do. We don't kill people in this family anymore because you guys seem to take it really seriously and hold it against people like Emma when they're not murderers. Killing people in The Sims is not a big deal, but we're going to avoid that. And two, because for all we know, she's not even alive. Anything that comes out of a painting, probably not high on the living scale. So we also can't really like lure her into a trap here because she's been to the house. She knows the whole family. She knows that they're gonna be coming for Tommy, I would imagine. So what else can we do? Oh wait, Kevin, we still have that plot of land that we bought just to build that store that one time you guys were poor, right? We bought a little tiny piece of land and we used it to set up a store. I don't think we ever sold it. And she probably doesn't know anything about it. So maybe we can lure her into a trap there, but I don't think a trap would be Llama Man. I think Kevin needs to be a bit more enticing. Trust me, Kevin, I know this is just as weird for me as it is for you, but I think if we need to lure her into a trap, we need ourselves a sexy clown. And I don't want you to wear the sad one because you'll be crying the whole time. So what, what screams sexy clown? What are clowns into? That's some bright colors. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, Kevin's not really a shoe guy, so we're gonna avoid the clown shoes, but uh, I think there's like face paint and stuff, right? Um, face paint, yeah, there we go. Um, let's go with the sad one. She's more into sad clowns, I would imagine, and I think there are hats. We get a clown hat. We need to make sure she doesn't recognize you because <laughs> that would be a bad, there you go. That's about as sexy as a clown's gonna get, I think. Step two is gonna be to build a clown trap. Now, it's like I said, this can't be suspicious, and Kevin, you can't be Llama Man, we've been over this, you need to be Sexy Clown. In fact, we need a clown name. What is your clown name gonna be, Kevin? If she asks you, you are, um, you are Shoeless the Clown. Yeah, that'll do it. Why is it so quiet here? Like, there's literally no sound in this neighborhood. This is really weird. Okay, either way, like I said, we need to make a trap for the clown, and it needs to be not suspicious. So we need to make it look like a house. Luckily, we have a little bit of money. 
Okay, that took way longer than I care to admit, but it's done. We have a great clown trap. Look at this. It looks like a quaint little home, just big enough for one clown to be living in. But uh, if you go inside, boom, you're trapped. Now, Emma, I know you probably want to raid my fridge, but this is a clown trap, not a terrifying blue woman trap. So if you could just get out, I need to save my son. Goku, get out of my clown trap. <laughs> It's too good. It's trapping everybody. Um, this is this is crap. How do we get people to leave? Screw it. We'll deal with it later. If they want to get trapped too, they can. But we've come back to the Shrieking Llama because this seems to be our hunting ground. And we're just going to approach her here. No, Kevin, no, don't murder her. What are you doing? We said we weren't going to... Oh, he's just going to transform the bar. He didn't like the look of it, I guess. At least they seem to be hitting it off. Okay, we're all we're all crying and we're all clowns. And uh, let's uh, let's try a pickup line. How are you doing? I can't believe I have to do this for a second time in an episode. We are once again trying to seduce the tragic clown. How are you doing? I'm, I'm a sexy clown. I'm, I'm way more than any boy you could ever kidnap. I mean, what? All right, Kevin. Things seem to be going well. We're gonna ask her if she wants to come home with us. What do you say? I got a nice little clown place. It's just big enough for about 50 of us. Ooh. I think that's a yes. Okay, the trap has been set. Very good, Kevin. Oh my god, Goku and Emma Watson are still here. You guys are ruining everything. What the hell happened to her? Did she, what? Did she just burst into flames or something? Did I miss something? Okay, either way, uh, she she can't see anything, right? Yeah, this just looks like a normal house. So we are just gonna walk in here. Maybe it's because I have the door locked so they can't actually get out. Which, you know, sucks to be them, I guess. They're gonna be sacrifices. So they're just gonna come on in and she can no longer get out. And you know what, just to be certain, I think we're gonna freeze her, Kevin. Just, we're gonna freeze her and we're gonna leave her here. There you go. Now you guys, you guys got about 10 minutes until she defrosts and probably goes on a crazy clown rampage. So get the hell out or don't, you know what? I don't really care. And that is where she is gonna stay until the end of time. Okay, way to go. Um shoeless clown or whatever your stupid clown name was let's go save your stupid son Blood i know i may be dressed as a sexy trick. clown but i Switch. swear to god if you ever it's get California. kidnapped by a crazy clown again i'm gonna let you die it's gonna be your own Gosh. doing okay Secure you don't want to get clown bro. stds have you ever thought about that you gotta, you gotta tell them, man. Kids, Boy, don't take it so hard, you know. Tommy. It happens to the huh? best of us. But you know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of The Life of Kevin, guys. Such a great episode. I had... Oh, boy. I think Mom found out about it. Yeah, oh, no. Okay, yeah, you know what? You're gonna get an earful from her, too. She's not happy. But that's, that's what you get. Like I was saying, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of The Life of Kevin, guys. So much fun. This just was not what I had expected at all. I wanted to do that whole, what was it? The the Day of the Dead, the sugar candy skull whatever thing. And we didn't get any of it done. I still have no idea what it is because so much other things happened. So if you guys do want to see the Day of the Dead challenge, be sure to let me know. Maybe next week I'll come up with something else to do on top of that. And uh, it'll be a lot of fun. We'll just try to stay away from creepy sex clowns and... Maybe girls in general for a little while. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. This is like the most dangerous cave I've ever seen. It's nothing but crystal booms. They're like frag grenades. Oh my god, okay. You know what? I'll just observe from a distance. How about that? Yeah, that that's that's much better. <laughs>